Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first ever YouTube video actually. Uh, I'll be making a ton more videos in Unity, uh, mainly just because I love it so much. Um, if there is anything specific you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments and I'll check it out for you. Uh, and please make sure to subscribe. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be covering how to create a third person character controller using the Cinti character models and Cine Machine. Um, so if you're not familiar with uh, the Cinti asset packs, uh, they're, they're pretty great for prototyping. Um, I'm sure you could actually make a full game with them as well. Um, the only thing is they don't come with animation. So you get these nice low poly models um, and they're, they're great. You can render a ton of them on screen at once. They're all batched together, but uh, there's no animations. Uh, so if you actually want to use it in a game and move it around, you have to bind some animations to the model. Um, so this pack in particular comes with a male character and a female character. Um, so just make sure to get the Polygon starter pack and get that installed. And the, we're going to be using a Cine Machine for our, our third person character camera. And also that comes with some, some animations that will hook up to, to the Cinti character. So yeah, just make sure uh, before we get into the video to just download the Polygon starter pack and uh, install Cine Machine. Um, I've already done that here actually. Um, and just make sure you import the Cine Machine example scenes because that has uh, some of the assets we're going to use. Cool. Um, so yeah, I've just I've created a new scene here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do because we're making a third person character is just create some terrain. Uh, so you can do that game object, 3D object, uh, terrain. And cool, we get this uh, this nice checkerboard, whoops, this nice uh, checkerboard texture here. Uh, cool. So the, the first asset I'll show you is uh, from the Polygon Starter Pack. Um, Polygon Starter, Prefabs, Characters, and let's, let's use the female one. Cool. So yeah, this is, uh, this is great. This nice low poly, that lighting is a little bit weird. Maybe I'll just change that quickly. Sorry about this. Yeah, now we can actually see the face. Cool. Um, so yeah, we have this uh, this character here that we basically want to animate. If we just inspect the character quickly, um, we can actually see the uh, the skeleton here. Um, it's got all the bones and everything sorted out for us, which is great. We don't have to set up that mapping ourselves. Um, but yeah, there's there's no animations. It has an animator uh, component attached to it, but we can see the uh, the controller field is actually blank. Um, so we'll we'll fix that up in a minute. So the next asset I want to show you is um, the Cine Machine one. Uh, so the Cine Machine example assets comes with a character uh, called the third person controller. So if we just drag that into our scene here, um, yeah, we can we can see the character here. And um, if I just, uh, I'm just going to align the camera to the view. If I hit play now, cool. So we can, uh, we actually have a character that we can move around the scene, which is really awesome. Um, so we just want to create a third person uh, camera uh, to start with. So to do that, um, we can go Cine Machine, uh, free look camera. And this creates a new camera here. Uh, by doing that, there's another thing that happens automatically behind the scenes with Cine Machine, which it creates a Cine Machine brain uh, on the on the main camera object. The rest of these cameras are known as virtual cameras. Um, <clears throat> the main camera has to have the Cine Machine brain, otherwise the virtual cameras won't work. Basically, this this brain component manages like blends between the virtual cameras, updating the virtual cameras, all of that stuff. Uh, so yeah, without this, let me show you what happens if I disable the brain. Basically, yeah, not much. <laughs> but if I enable the brain, um, also not much. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, sorry, I missed a step. Um, there's two fields here that need to be assigned to the free look camera. Um, and that's the follow and the look at field. So let's just start with our third person Cine Machine character. Um, so if I sign the root to the follow node, um, this follow basically says that's the translation of the camera. So it's just telling uh, Cine Machine which, which, uh, 
which game object to actually follow around the scene. Uh, the next one we want to assign is the look at. Um, it makes sense for a third person camera to actually look at the head of the character. So that can be found inside the skeleton underneath the chest, neck and yeah, head. Cool. So we can now see uh, in the scene view this uh, this virtual camera is now looking at uh, the camera the object that we want to follow and if we hit play ta-da cool we have a we have a pretty good third person uh, third person camera nice um, it's actually inverted at the moment so I'm just going to change that to make it a bit more natural so under axis control we can just invert the y-axis and uninvert the x-axis and this is much more familiar with a standard third person controller if i move my mouse right the camera pan, uh, looks right left goes left etc cool um, one last thing is i'm um, on the third person controller there is actually a sprint animation um, so sprint keyboard i'm just going to change the keyboard binding here by to left shift which is pretty standard for uh, most games sprinting around using the left shift key um, if anybody actually knows a better way to navigate this enum it's, it's like insane doing it manually uh, let me know in the comments i normally just push l repeatedly until i get the the key code that i want um, cool so i'll just show you that sprint animation quickly nice sweet so we can sprint walk around our camera's walking all good so yeah, we just want to make all of this stuff work now for the Sinti character. Um, so if we just start by comparing the two objects. So the Sinti one has only got an animator, no animation controller. Um, the, so let's just minimize that one. The third person controller has got a rigid body, capsule collider, and some movement scripts. So let's just start by adding uh, physics. Um, so there's, there's actually two ways I could have made this character move. One would be reassigning the models and the meshes on the cinema machine object here. They would be quicker, but it doesn't teach you as much about what is necessary to make uh, this this character move. So I'm going to take the longer route by adding the required components to this object. So if we start by adding some physics and a capsule collider, cool. So now it's got some physics. Um, we can actually see the shape of the capsule collider here is much better than this one. So let's just uh, copy the values here so we can access that by just going copy component, going back to our Sinti character and then going paste component values and that, that will copy all the values from here. So now we have like a pretty nice capsule that fits pretty nicely around our character model. Um, so let's just go into game and test that out. And if I walk into it, boom, nice. I can tip it over and push it around. <laughs> well, it can actually run on top of it as well. Oh my God, it's like a treadmill. The Corona workout. Sweet. Um, yeah, so that's that's the physics that we have for the character. Like yoga physics or something. <laughs> that's hilarious. Cool. Uh, so... Yeah, the, the next thing we want to do is basically make this object respond to our keyboard and mouse. Um, so if we go back to the uh, third person, the Cine Machine um, object character, uh, we have this character movement script. Um, so I can just copy copy this and then add it to the character here. Uh, so let's go paste component as new. Now we have the movement on our Cinti character. So if I hit play, I should be able to move both characters at the same time because they both have movement. Uh, uh, doesn't doesn't quite work. Um, so it looks like the rotation is working, but the forward back doesn't work. Um, yeah, and I'll show you. Uh, there's actually a warning here we can see as well. Animator is not playing an animator controller. So that tells us that we're missing an animator controller from the our character that we just added the movement script to um, so yeah if we just double click on this movement script for a second we can see um, what it does is basically reads the horizontal and vertical input uh, creates a speed parameter and then assigns that to the animator controller which is is here um, yeah and that that is basically what is driving our animation 
which is which is why it's not working because um, our animator which we found before is missing the controller so if we just find the same controller character controller and assign that onto our Cinti character uh, it's this one boom cool so uh, now that should all work oh there's actually one other thing to note here is the animator on the cinema machine character is its update mode is animate physics basically what this means is the animation outputs a, a delta uh, just telling the, the object how far to move um, so there's there's two ways you can either apply that delta directly to the transform itself or you can tell physics to apply it uh, which which basically is what we want because we have a character uh, collider, a capsule collider. So we just need to update this here, update the mode from normal to animate physics. Um, cool. So, oops, sorry about that. Um, so now if we hit play, everything should be working. Uh, okay, so our animations are playing now, except our character looks pretty drunk. Um, don't really know what it's up to. Whoa. <laughs> um, okay, so it looks like something is wrong in the physics. So if we just compare the... Oh, right, I see. So the, the physics on our Cine Machine character has got the XYZ rotation fields frozen. Uh, so we just need to freeze them here. And I can tell you why. Um, if we go back to our character movement script, all this uh, animation parameter does is um, is just sets the running animation. Um, the actual rotation is done inside update target direction. Uh, there's two modes for it. Um, one is camera relative, the other is character relative. So yeah, this is basically just telling, uh, it, it controls the rotation of the transform uh, directly inside the movement script. So we don't want physics overriding that or uh, controlling it as well which is why we we freeze this stuff here um cool so now if i hit play nice and uh let, let's just quickly double yeah double click that controller so we can see there's two nodes here there's a locomotion node which has got four animations this is actually um a blend tree this, this, see this little symbol here? That basically means a blend tree, whereas this one just means a simple animation. Um, so this blend tree, yeah, we can inspect by double clicking on it, or we can also double click on the node. No, that just shows us the blend graph. If we double click on this motion here, uh, we can actually see inside the animation graph. If we hit play, we can control the speed parameter and see how the speed parameter is not controlling the rotation and this is the direction parameter which just controls walking backwards by the looks of it um, but there's no rotation being controlled by the animation here that's that's uh that's a key thing to note um, which is why we need to freeze the rotation because the rotation is being controlled by the uh, script directly so there is one more thing that we need to do to fully complete this. Uh, the camera is currently looking at the wrong object. We need to make it look at this object. Um, so if we just go back to our camera, um, rem remember those two fields. We just need to, currently it's targeting the Cine, Cine Machine controller. So we just need to reassign the route to our Cinti uh, object and the head to our Cinti object, which can be found under the spine, neck, head. So we just assign that here. Cool. And yeah, we can tell that the camera is now looking at the right character. Um, so if I just hit play. Cool. Um, maybe one last thing is we just want to control one character. <clears throat> so we just disable the character movement script on the Cine Machine character. Hit play. Cool. So now we've got a fully animated Cinti character. Um, so th these characters are all very similar across all the Cinti packs. So you can apply this tutorial to any character out of any of the Cinti packs if you want to uh, want to get them animating and control them in game.
and yeah that is the end of this tutorial so I'd really appreciate any feedback that you have if you thought this tutorial was too long too short uh, you wanted more details or you want me to cover any other topic uh, please let me know in the comments and I will uh, follow up with that as soon as I can uh, yeah thank you very much uh, have a great day and everybody stay safe given the current climate and everything going on in the world thank you bye bye